Welcome to a quick bit on uh, road racing categories and classifications in, for the UK. So I saw Trading Road did a thing about the US, so I thought I'd make a quick one on the UK because that's where I'm from. Uh, so let's say you just bought your first race license, so you need like a silver British cycling license, bought your race license, cost about £80. Pounds. Um, so licenses run until the 30th of November every single year. Right, <laughs> okay, so when you first start, assuming you've never raced before, you'll be a fourth category, assuming you're an adult, right? So that's basically the worst of the worst. So to get up to third, you basically need 12 points in one year. So that's normally two top threes, two like two top fives basically gets you that. And then the third category, you're then all your points are irrelevant. So then what you have to do to get up to um, the second category is you need to then get 40 points in one season. So let's say you have 12 points and then you basically need to get 50, um, 52 points in one season to get up to a second cap. Um, and once you're a third cat, you're a third cat forever, but once you're a second cat, you need to get 25 points to stay second cat. So it's not too hard. Then to get uh, first category, you really need to get 200 points, which is quite incredible. And um, you really need to be racing big races to get a first cat. And then after, after that, you just need 100 points. And for an elite, you need 300 points while holding a, an elite or first. So basically, in order to get... I think in one season you can probably go fourth to second. That's probably not too hard, but I think fourth to first would be very hard because you need to go 12 points, then 40 points, then 200 points. So you need like 252 points, so that would be quite quite a big day out for a lot of people. And it's also harder to get in the races. For junior riders, um, this is basically so if you're below, before you get to a junior, um, there's like the youth races. So basically if you have no points then next year when you get into the junior, which is so junior and senior are all the fourth cat things. So you'll have you'll basically be zero points. So you're fourth cat. Any points, third cat, and then this is all second cat. And I think you can only be second cat, you can't get higher. Um, so these are all the re regulations of the roads. So it's basically like national A is the best, then national B, then regional A, then regional B, then regional C plus. So most of your crits will be C plus, then most of your road races will probably regional B or A, and then the decent road races are like Nat B, and then Nat A is sort of the biggest races in the UK domestic calendar. So we can look at the points now. So I don't think that's too difficult to understand. You basically need some points. It's all on the website, so I'll link below. So National A race, you win, you get 100 points, um, and then it goes down 85. So if you win the National, if so if you get 20, if you get two points in um, a National A. So basically National A is like the hardest races. Then a National B road or a National A circuit is like basically... Circuit races aren't as valuable as might you get 60 points, and then you scroll down, and you'll get one point for 20th. Then the regional A, obviously, will go down. You get 30 points for a win, and it sort of drops down, and then you only get points up to 15th. In the regional B race, you get points up to 10th, but you win, you get 15. And then the regional C plus is like 10th, 10, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 1, down to 9th and 10th. Um, so basically, when you begin, normally you're going to get into regional C plus or maybe a regional B. So it's quite hard to move up. But obviously, when you get into the national B races or regional A races, it's a lot easier to get the points. Um, so there you go. My cat, my um, tip would be at the beginning, just choose a crit course. If you're light, try and choose a hilly one and just get to three top, like two top top three places. So I got a third and a fourth, so that gave me thirteen points. Done. It was quite easy. Um, but don't choose one that's flat if you're light, and vice versa. If you're very heavy, well, you're probably fine because most courses are relatively flat. And then when you move up, just try and pick the harder the race. Don't pick too hard a race. So now, if I chose a Nat B race, I'd probably get blown out of the water because I can do that because that's basically... So National A is E1-2, that's E1-2-3, that's normally a 2-3-4, that's a 3-4, and that's a 4th. So you're going to get into races with your category. Um, or that could be an E1-2-3 if it's during the week. Um, so, yeah choose the regional B first then move basically move up the pyramid but if you think you're strong enough in national B race because you're 70 kilos maybe FTP of 350, 370 and you just only started racing then yeah go to the national B race and you, even if you get top 10 you'll get 17 points so that's that's beautiful um, you're well on your way to getting second cat or whatever so that would be pretty good for you so cheers for watching I'll link all this below and um, have fun racing and I'll see you in the next video see ya